And now to a huge loss for the media fraternity. President William Ruto has led the nation in mourning the passing on of veteran broadcaster Catherine Casavulli, who passed on on Thursday night. The late Casavulli has been battling cancer for a long time before her demise. She had been hospitalized at the Kenyatta National Hospital for close to three months before her passing. The news of the passing on of the legendary news broadcaster Catherine Casavulli has been received with grief across the country with no less than the president, William Ruto, leading in the tributes that have continued to flow in since the confirmation of her death. President Ruto described the late Casavulli as a cheerful, articulate and intelligent news anchor who had an unprecedented flair while on air. Opposition leader Raila Odinga termed the departed and celebrated broadcaster as a trailblazer who influenced many women to join the broadcasting profession due to her captivating presence. The former president, Uhuru Kenyatta, hailed the late Kasavuli's positive impact in the Kenyan society at large. The National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula also paid his tribute. But she will be remembered as a pioneer woman newscaster in Kenya. The late Kasavuli passed on at the Kenyatta National Hospital on Thursday night after bravely battling cancer. She had been admitted at the hospital for close to three months for treatment of cervical cancer. Catherine Kasavuli, who rose to become one of the country's leading news anchors, was born in 1962 in Nairobi West. She was also raised and schooled in the city before making her debut in the broadcast profession at the National Broadcaster, the Voice of Kenya in 1980. In 1990, Kasavuli joined KTN as an anchor where she served for over a decade. Thank you for joining us on Citizen Live at Nine. I am Catherine Kasavuli. Before joining Royal Media Services in 2007, serving both as a head of anchors and the company's corporate affairs manager. It is a great opportunity for us to showcase our country. Royal Media Services Managing Director Washira Waruru has paid tribute to the fallen legend, stating that Catherine will be remembered as an outstanding trailblazer in the broadcast media industry in Kenya. She graced our television screens with her eloquent and authoritative presentation of news, rising to become one of the most compelling primetime TV personalities. Catherine left RMS in 2015 before she returned to where her career started, KBC, in 2021. She had served there for a year before she was diagnosed with cervical cancer this year. My mother is 50, but she looks so fit. Kasavuli is survived by her son, Martin Kasavuli. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV, Nairobi.